yeah. good to be back. I know, it's been a minute since you've been here, but I did, my mom was like, who did you say hi to when you were on the Emmys? And I was like, I don't even know if you knew, but I just saw you and I was like, oh, hey, but you were in white, right? You were saying, yes. you, you didn't even know, but I was just like, I just looked out and I just saw you and I was like, well, I guess I'll say hi. Well, why <laughs> like, did you did say you... hi? You no, want to know what, I, though? I walked in and out. I literally walked on stage and walked out. My yeah. dress was actually riding up the entire time, so oh, a lot no. of people saw something they didn't want to see, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I was, I was on stage. I literally walked out to present an award, and I had come from another job, so I literally walked in the building and walked on the stage to the award, and I was like, oh, there she is. And you look so, you were so radiant, like oh. in that white dress. It was so beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, you, like, <laughs> stuck out oh. to me. Thank you. But you've had a big life change since then, you turned 30, right? Yes. That's awesome. Was it a fun party? Did you plan a yeah, big thing? Yeah, I never throw myself parties, and I thought I should, right? Because it's 30. 30, yeah. And I fully enjoyed it, but I think I've been really enjoying the process of being 30 and, you know, learning to put up with things that I can and, and just caring about who, sur who I surround myself with. It's been kind oh. of a journey. 100%. Pick the weeds, keep the flowers. Yes. That's what I say. I feel like, too, also, and I, I found myself saying, I watched your documentary with my mom and my sister, oh. and we were they were visiting, and I was like, oh, I, I want to watch this thing. I was like, she's coming on. Watching that, it reminded me of several relationships and friendships in my life, and I feel like friendships have seasons, and yes. that's not a bad thing. I feel like people can come in and out of your lives at different times, and I, I felt like, do you feel similar to that? Yeah, they're actually, I mean, we started shooting this in 2016, and there are people in that doc that are no longer in my life because yeah. that was the right thing to do. Yeah, and, and not necessarily a bad thing either way. I always feel like it's one of those things where it's like, we're all on different like paths, and it's okay that we didn't meet up right now. Yeah. Because we might meet up again later. Yeah, or but, not. Yeah, or not, <laughs> or not. No, I have those things too, where it's like you don't realize, that's I think was so tricky, because my mom and sister were just like, wow, you two are similar. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, I was like loud and clear. Um, but it was, it was just one of those things that I thought, I think when people watch this, they're gonna feel like a big sister with you, mm -hmm. like, and be like, wait, wait, you wanna just hold you and you wanna cuddle, because you're very open about everything in the documentary, about your health, about the highs and lows. It's not like some depressing, it's a lot of things, all the emotions, but I thought that it was really cool that you were so open about, yeah. I mean, having lupus, about bipolar disorder, about going to speak. What was that like, speaking that at the hospital? That was crazy. I went to the McLean Hospital, and it's one of the best hospitals for, um, all, I mean, they are, they're kind of covering everything in the mental health space. And so I was able to say my diagnosis out loud for the first time. And yeah. it just, it gave me such strength and it really, it wasn't easy. And I think that's why I wanted the documentary to feel really personal, but I'm, got, I'm kind of scared. Like a lot of people are going to see this whole other side of me and I'm like, I hope they like it. I think it's refreshing. I think it's nice, because it's such a filtered world. Like, and we're different generations, so it's just like, it's, I feel like your age and younger, like it's just such a, a different world where everybody filters everything online, and, and that's not life, that's not real life. Like, everybody has things, yes. right? And I just thought it was very powerful, like, to not know what was happening with you, but you knew something was wrong, you sought out help, yes. and you got it, and that's, that's gonna help so many people that watch this. I hope so. Yes, Thank whether you. it's depression or whatever, anxiety, like whatever, it's like, it really does, you watch it and you go, okay, wait, I do vibe with that. Like that's similar to me. So it's, it's gonna, I think, awaken a lot of people. I hope so, because I am really <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Was it nervous for you? Because in the, in, right after you spoke at that hospital, all those people like afterwards, like talking to you. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel the weight of that? Like when they're telling you their story? Cause I feel like a lot of people will tell us things that maybe they should put like someone that's trained yeah, that knows exactly. what to say back. Yeah. Do well, you ever feel the I, I'm definitely not a professional, but it was really, I think I'm more so connect with people that have been on a similar journey. And I don't mind having those conversations with people. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I, anything that I do, I want it to be some sort of light in the world. So yeah. I'm excited that people will get to see, you know, how, how much it paid off, to be honest with my story. Yeah, because it's freeing. Mm -hmm. It feels freeing when you're finally like, nope, this is me and this is how it is. And yes. I loved how you were in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Like I loved how, it was, it was different to watch you. 
and even having conversations with these girls and like your many revelations, like with these girls, like asking about guys, that one conversation. Yes. What was her name? Betty. Betty. And she is unbelievable. And um, I basically went on a trip and we were there with an organization, but this young woman who is younger than me just spoke so candidly about her own mental health struggles. And mm -hmm. it was really incredible to be all the way aside on the other side of the world and, and see how people handle these things and how you know people don't talk about it. But she was just so beautiful and her story is oh. really great. If you do get to watch it, it's beautiful. Yeah, I loved, I loved that conversation at the table and everything. It was just nice to see you in that moment and I thought that was really cool.